Hey, what's going on? We are live. We're from home. It's the M Bomb Effect. I'm M Bomb. We got Zookeeper, Uber Mike, and Austin Dash here tonight live. And we're on our own private uh, areas. What's up, boys? How's it going? Oh, hold on, hold on. We have an issue here. Oh, now we can hear you. Uh oh. There we go. All right, are we here? We're here. We're here live. Checking right, one, two. Yeah. Checking one, two. Check, check, now check. Now remember, boys, we all have to speak one at a time. No talking over each other because that will mess it up for the viewers. So it's the very hard. Enjoy. Yeah, it's very hard for us to uh, differ. Like, usually we do this in person in the studio. We kind of can tell when somebody wants to talk, but this is a little different. So here we are. Uh <laughs> I, I think on here it'd be more towards who's highlighted with the green of yeah. who's currently talking. I don't know if you see over the uh, edges. Oh, there, I see like, it. Like a, there's like a green border of, of who's actually talking, so you can actually tell. Yeah, no, I see it. Um, so unfortunately, I thought I had YouTube up and running, but apparently they're changing some things over there on their end with um, YouTube Live, and that's really messing really? up our yeah, that's really messing up our uh, connection. So we can't even connect to them, unfortunately. So mm. we have to figure that out, Uber Mike. We have to figure it out. Um, we we'll have to sit together one of these nights and um, yeah. go through it. Yes, yes we, do. we do. Now I know everybody's been. Um, hearing about a lot of this stuff lately but i just have an announcement for everybody uh -oh. the oh. cryptocurrency ban did not go into the effect the cryptocurrency market still remains in place oh yeah that's good so a little good news. all right so this is well, uh I mean, dollar was worrying news for everybody well i know we talked about that i mean i'm not 100 percent sure on the accuracy of that article but yeah. it's something we have to look up oh, yeah me too um yeah, so the cryptocurrency, uh, the digital, the di digital dollar, or whatever this whole thing is, you know, they uh, they they wanted to push that through. So you're you're saying that they didn't really get, it's not going through. Well, I mean, what what happened was when all this coronavirus outbreak was going, uh, apparently in legislation they were trying to monopolize uh, digital currencies like Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, all that type of things. And it seemed that the government wanted to get their hands in it because we, as we all know, and people who do, I mean, a lot of people out there don't know anything about cryptocurrency, but uh, just to give a little simple run around of what it is, it's basically currency online that you can use to purchase things and it values out to a certain dollar amount in USD. Yeah. And if the government can get their hands on it, what I think what they'll do is try to tax the living crap out of it. So you make a, transaction with bitcoin while whatever it's worth usd they would from my understanding is they would try to tax they it. would like yeah they would tax it okay and so, that's but a very good point keep their hands out of it. yeah that is a very good point that uber mike made you know the government is trying to come in and tax the crap out of it and get their piece of the pie is basically what they're trying to do and uber mike highlighted that very well in my opinion um as well as you know the coronavirus outbreak this is turned into a perfect a perfect literal you know scenario for them to sneak something just like that in of course so i i really think they they were trying to sneak it in there but the people of the united states really came together and said no that that's not okay we're not okay with this so no we shouldn't well be. and the thing about cryptocurrency it's it's not even bound to u.s citizens i mean it has no government it has no ties to a certain part of the world so for them to even try to come in and try to make them a part of it, it's like, all right, you know, U.S. government controls the United States dollar. I think that's all they need to control. They don't need to control another type of currency that has nothing to do with them. Right. Let exactly. people not... do something for once without government being involved. They, you, they don't need to be involved in this. No. They're um... not literally – it's it's an, a cryptocurrency. It's an online – it's not any government or any nation's monetary, so they, it shouldn't be taxed. Yeah. Um, exactly now exactly now i know all that's fine and dandy um but what are we all doing here during this whole uh time here i mean zookeeper you got your fish tank over there you, you're showing some of your uh saltwater fish it looks like yeah um, you know we uh we can get a little close up here yeah, let's look at that uh, i like to see saltwater this saltwater fish here so you guys can see it there's my nemo right there I look at that can you guys see good yeah look at that oh, i see nemo <laughs> It's pretty cool, yeah. We got uh, some of the other reptiles here, you know. See, uh, you guys can see it all them well, snakes but... and all them peeps. Yeah, now the viewers can look at and see that you are really a zookeeper over there, buddy. Yeah, you know, I do have uh, quite the collection here, I will say. Uh, 
that's kind of how I got the name. It just came about one of these nights here, and Uber Mike has a cat in his lap. He's got his cat with him, yeah. Well, this is uh, this is little Huey, and uh, he's like, yeah, Huey. <laughs> Oh, he's <laughs> he having really a good time to right now because he's busy doing cat things. But just thought doing, I'd try to give him a little doing kitty cat things. He's a spaz. So he's a, he's I really a lovely think spaz. this is a cool episode, you guys, because yeah. it not only gives you guys a little bit of insight to who we are, but you can also, you know, see our our personal lives. You know, coming to the viewers here. The I love to, if I can, I'd love to show y'all something. Yeah. To those who may not have known, this is uh. Is actually one of my powerful gaming rigs that I have set up. Look at that. Right here. Oh, Look at that thing. So nice. So it's all lit up on the inside, as you can see yeah, it closed. Dude, you should cool. see my buddies. So He's that got there's really just my shit. graphics card. It's a few years old. I want to upgrade it. Yeah. But, you know, it's all gaming powered. It's very nice. And, yeah, that's that's something that I'm into, you know, as far as, like, a hobby and stuff is, like, you know, yeah. Building computers, upgrading parts, and like you know, doing different type of benchmark stuff. Right. Testing different things. Oh, That's dude, you gotta show that to my. You gotta show that to my friends. I'm pretty sure they would love that. Although I would say, like you know, it's funny how uh, M Bomb says uh, we're showing our little bit of our personal lives. Yeah. Even though I am nowhere in my home. Yeah, Austin yeah, Dash, you're not over there, man. Excuse the Dash man for uh, being in a random place. Yeah, man, you're not even at home. What's up with that? Where are you? <laughs> Just to give the shout out to the Dash man here, he does have a lot, a lot of classic games. I'm talking the original, original copies of classics Everything. that are no Get the longer classics in going. existence. Oh. So I mean, I'm in got, what Nintendo 64, he, all the PlayStation. Even before uh, that, man. He's got it all, man. Conquers, he's got all the N64, PS2. It, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Yep. That crazy uh, game there. We played that. Time Splitters. Oh yeah. It's some, it's What's some good the? Uh, if I may ask, Dash Man, what is the oldest original game that you have that was in the 90s? I would like to know that as well. Yeah. What's up Probably, with that, man? What do you got? The oldest game he has. Uh, it's probably it's it, it's a fight between the Super NES and the original NES because the NES came out in the '80s, but that but that's the so you had original games get. from the '80s. Wow, like the NES, yeah, I have, like the cartridges, uh, yeah, all that shit, yeah. I got some of those too. So I you have games from the '80s. Wow, yeah. I have Super Mario Three still somewhere. Games. Oh, my mom says she flew my today. Buddies, and uh, I think my buddy's tripped the fire alarm by accident. Oh, boy. Austin Dash causing trouble oh, over there. No, oh, me. Your house is on my way. <laughs> that was the quarantine alarm, man. Saying you need to get your ass back home. Corona zombies incoming. The corona zombies are coming. My, mo my mom flew today, she said, so. <laughs> my, oh. Oh. We don't have access today. To the said she okay. okay. Well. So. So just to keep everyone in update, like where I am now, I'm help. I was actually, uh, I was asked to help a friend move to their new house in Greece. Yeah. So I'm helping them move all their stuff, and it's just been a one hell of a day. I've had myself a so beer. So we're okay, so somebody was, else's life right now, right? Well, I'm just helping. I'm just helping so my friends out. Like, I would help you guys out. If you guys Calling them out. Brought to the viewers. We love you, viewers. Yes, I'm in an office that I have. Um, it's obviously not packed away or anything. I still got some things over here. A big painting that I have that's supposed to go on the living room wall. I, I got a lot of things I got to do here with my wife and I, and uh, we we just it's you know it's just it's coming along. Just you know, I got it set up. It's good enough for now. Right now, um, I'm in my little home office setup. My lovely girlfriend here set it up for me the other day. Yeah. Oh, I would be doing it for the show. So shout out to Crystal for doing that for me. Yeah, man. Yeah, you go, Crystal. Yeah. And uh, I'm just sitting here in my studio. It's a studio, so I can't even say I'm in a room. So I'm just where I am. All I'm right. just chilling in my buddy's basement. <laughs> I mean, I could I could go upstairs, but I'm by my I, gaming I don't know what desktop. they're doing. Yeah. They're getting their shit go. moved in and shit and. It's, Although, unless the viewers would like to say hi, if you guys would like to say hi, yeah, they can. It's up to you. The phone lines are up eight five five six two two five six one nine. I don't. I can't promise Call you. Call us in if you want to say hi to Austin's friends. Yeah, I can't promise you if it'll work correctly because this is a whole different way of doing the show. I mean, we're usually sitting together in a studio, and uh, now it's all 
different, so. It's all fucked up, right? <laughs> you know what? It's new, but you know what? We got to work with what we can work with, with the with the times that it, that it Virus. is now. I mean, yes. Hey, yeah, we just we got to work with whatever we can work with. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you've uh, been on the official Facebook page of the M-Bomb Effect lately, but yesterday I had posted a video of a bunch of kids playing basketball without shirts. This is not what you're supposed to be doing during that. quarantine. Coronavirus! This is, this is Coronavirus! serious. But it's stuff like that that just makes me shake my head. I'm like, dude, come on, man. You can't be doing that. Like, That's exactly why this is going to last longer and longer if we keep doing stupid shit like that. But we need to just keep ourselves at home and isolate. And no, let's just play basketball. We're touching the same ball. We're all Our sweaty stomachs are out. It's disgusting. It's gross. And nobody wants to see that anyways. It's absolutely disgusting. They're getting their hands all over it. The They're sweaty hands, the grubby. It. Yeah, they put and their... You know, that ever lived they went over and spit on it. You know, and it's just, it's just you know, because when you look in the news, too, there's already been in, in our county a couple kids under the age of 10 who have confirmed cases of the virus, which, and you know, it, it's sad because now you got kids under the age of 10 be having confirmed cases of these viruses. Yeah. The greatest man that ever lived went and licked them. I am the greatest man that ever lived. <laughs> You, you know what? I, you know, a wise man once said, a stupid is, a stupid does. <laughs> yeah. A wise man once said, I am the greatest man that ever lived. I am the greatest man that ever lived. Those are my babies. babies. We still, Those are my babies. We know the idea of this man, too, and that's the best part. Um, we can't tell his name on the show. but Yeah, we can't give away this man's identity. No, we can't. For privacy reasons, but we want to. It's craziness, man. It's craziness. Not as crazy as it is over here. Yeah, sound effect board. I, I did play it a couple times there. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. I don't know if it comes through your end. I don't know. Does I it don't come think through? it do does. No? You didn't hear the yay oh, well. and all that stuff earlier? I did not hear the yay. No? Huh, that's odd. That's okay. We, You know what? As, as soon as we look over this show, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we'll hear it and well, whatnot. Right? Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, you got um, we, this is all different. This is not how we're usually doing the show. Um, in the meantime, this it's is just how we're going to do it. Temporary, right now. Yeah, I mean, we can use this setup for future show, uh, depending upon what we do. But I can't wait to get back in the studio with you guys. It'll be fun. Um, oh, absolutely! Oh. I miss you guys. I have ferrets. Oh, look at that! See that? Now this, this I gotta say. This I gotta say, I look forward to do doing this because now I get to see his ferrets on the camera on the show. Look Aww, at that! Aw, they're so cute. Zookeeper with his zoo over there on the show. Look at this. Doing some Uber Mike keeping. over there with the sound effect. Hey, I just I just heard that. Hey, hi to Chunks, everybody. That's Chunks. Hello. Look at this. He's got he's got them both in Nemo's each hand. Sleeping. Sleeping, huh? <laughs> That lazy bastard. <laughs> yeah. Uber Mike over there playing some uh, Grand Theft Auto, I'm, I'm sure, right? Been playing Grand Theft Auto actually, lately? No, I'm actually not playing Grand Theft Auto. I'm just, uh, I'm kind of on Steam. How yeah. dare you? What's popular? So, um, during this whole quarantine, what's everyone's favorite thing to do? I know my Uber Mike likes to play the PC games, um... What's I like word? to play with my ferrets, take care of my animals, do some aquascaping. There you go. Just relax, maybe do some streaming. Yeah. For me, for me, it's uh, just listening to music, uh, playing my games, and just I mean, taking it day by day. Yeah. I mean, for me too. Like it's just working. Well, I work from home now. Yeah, it makes sense. Going on, and then, and then when I'm done working from home, which honestly. I have to be honest with you. I cannot stand working from home, everybody. Like, to be honest no. with you, I'd rather be back out there, back in the district, doing my thing. Oh, yeah, I bet you're going fucking stir crazy I right now. I would. It's just, it's difficult working from home. There's no one around you. There's nobody to talk to. There's just, you're just sitting in your living room on your laptop, answering all these requests. And we've got another cat here who just. Oh, yeah, look, there's Oreo, room. man. Um, yep, she's, she's sick right now, unfortunately. So I'm taking well, see, care of her. see, you're doing, see, you're doing it wrong. You got to do your work, and then you have a, you got to have a glass of whiskey with you, and then drink oh, that, yeah. and then you'll be fine. 
Actually, I think over Mike's getting into some wine tonight. Oh, he's got the wine oh, yeah, going. There you go. What kind of wine you got? I am going to bring. I am going to pop that open a little bit. What kind of wine is it, Uber Mike? I don't even want to. I don't even. Honestly, I don't know because it's from that one guy that you know. Oh, okay. What Actually, kind of wine is it, Emma? Why are you asking me, buddy? What is that? Pito wine? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been uh what I've been doing is going to work well, and then spending time watching TV with the wife, you know, just doing some uh doing, it's pretty much life goes on as usual for me, except for without going to restaurants and bars and with you guys and stuff like that. It kinda sucks, but Well you know, <sighs> it really sucks because we haven't been able to get out to our Applebee's and get I know all our nice dollar drinks. Miss the Applebee's and all the good cocktails that we get usually. Now that yeah, but so it's kind of nice to like drink at home sometimes. I feel like I feel like yeah. it's, it's nice to drink at home problem, where guys. it's like hmm? we've been trapped in our houses all winter because it's been cold. I know. And now that it's getting warm out, we're all stuck because even though we can go out, nothing is open. Yeah, that's true. Not unless you have an open backyard. Well, yeah, but I mean, still not warm enough to use it. Get out in your backyard. You know, you can take a solitary exercise, walking, hiking, getting out on the trails. A, a um, jog on the canal. You know, just don't uh, don't spend close contact with people. No. The six feet away rule, make sure you're implementing that. Don't be stupid. Oh, they got those rules everywhere. Don't you know, be stupid and play basketball kids. and, you know. I you still know, can't get over that. Run that clip. You should run that clip for the show and uh, show everybody what you saw. Um, I would. Um, I just don't want to mess anything up that I got going on here. Uh, I understand that. Yeah, it's um, like I said, we gotta get used to this. I gotta get used to this setup. It's um, it's yeah, definitely you different. You also gotta like work on like the settings, and you gotta work on yeah, just testing it out. And this, this is more more like a test run. Yes. I like. Yeah. I mean, uh, Wednesday night, I, I made that little announcement that we we couldn't do the show because I just I felt it was the best thing to do to to do it this way instead of having everybody together because we all know that just it's just we got to do our part. So um, exactly. Right. From now on, we need to do the web show until we are clear. Until further notice. To all you know, cohabit. Which I'm okay. Which I'm okay with that. With this, I mean. It's different, yeah, man. Like base you know, time for me. Spread, we don't want to spread the coronavirus, and we want to do our part. So none of us have yeah. it, but you Even know, though, just don't want yeah. to take chances. I was just gonna, I was just gonna say, I feel like I'm, I feel bad because I'm not doing my part because I'm with friends, but I'm, but I already made a promise to them that I would help them move into this new house. So yeah, no, I'm I get it. A friend a favor. Yeah, but it's one of those deals that once you're done, you just you know go back and just kind of go back to where you were and it, it's it still sucks though you know it's just it's not the same and everybody's just it's, it's like you said it's almost like solitary solitary confinement almost oh yeah almost i completely agree that. you know everybody's getting cabin fever out there a lot of people are stuck inside some people are working some people aren't everything's shut down so there's really nothing you can do other than go to the grocery store go to walmart go to the you know, everything is everything shut down, so you're just stuck inside doing nothing, or at least getting out. Hopefully, getting some exercise. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm how I'm trying to keep myself sane. Yeah, it sucks that the gyms are all closed. That's usually where I go after work and uh, kind of you know lift weights to relieve the stress and all that. But it's it's uh it's been a battle with that. So I don't know when Do everything's you, have, you know the gyms oh. and all the entertainment industry has really been. Yeah. Uh, impacted hardcore. They have. I it was sucks. Just gonna, I was just gonna ask Carol. Do you have any weights at home? Do you have? Do you know any exercise you could do at home? Because I I got some I got I some stuff. Um, I do have some stuff. Okay. Unfortunately, though, um, I went to the couple stores looking for fifties and forty uh, pound dumbbells, and they're all the dumbbells are gone except for maybe a twenty five or a twenty. Um, I'm just like really. Now is the time you go out and, and, and hoard by all these dumbbells. Where have you people been? I mean, these, I guarantee these people haven't even been to the gym in the last year or two, and they're all hoard buying freaking dumbbells that are 50 pounds. So I'm like, come on, man. So, mm -hmm. yeah. My mom says wash your hands good. That's right, 20, 20 seconds of washing your hands. Um, that, that is the best Thing, way uh, to kill the virus.
Yeah, I gotta sing uh, "Happy Birthday" twice. Happy birthday twice, and uh, make sure you uh, have that nice, not too hot water. You don't want to burn your skin, but enough to say you actually feel the burn. You know, like the afterburn, the better show. Um, uh, uh, I don't know. Hot water. Hot water. Every other people that are uh, from the Blitz show. Yeah, well, the Blitz show would smoke your guys' ass and airsoft, but you guys never took us up on that challenge. Yeah, it's well, kind of hard to do. And all of us has the right equipment. That's right. So, oh, shots fired shut right up, there. Dash man, you're on my own. It's, you're on the winning team, so shut up. Well, right now I we're know, on. But I gotta, I gotta, I gotta work with logic with reason, man. Well, right now we're on the all on the same page here, man. We're uh, TME quarantine. I TME love it, man. TME quarantine. That's right. We're here and we're doing our thing like this we should be doing. This is the quarantine, bitches. Yep. Did you see the little? Uh, I don't know if you guys are uh, able to see the logo or anything on the, the little uh, oh, graphic. Oh, I, I, I saw the logo uh, in the in the chat. It it looks dope though. The little graphic, yeah. I put that on there, so it's official, man. We're we're doing our, we're doing we're making moves here on the, in the quarantine. So, it's interesting, you know. We get to see a little bit of inside of our uh, our our personal bubbles here. We get to see Zookeeper's uh, aquarium, Uber Mike's. PC. We get to see Austin Dash helping his friends. Um, <laughs> it's not his house, but you know. Hey, you know what? Helping, my unfinished helping office. Friends out and, mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, helping friends out is what I do best. I mean, I do the same thing to you guys. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, it's been a hectic couple of weeks, couple of months actually. But uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if you guys heard, but uh, the president um, of the United States, uh, Donald Trump. I guess he's uh, mulling over if he wants to uh, make a mandatory quarantine for new parts of New Jersey, uh, the whole state of New York, and Connecticut. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to go through with this, but I guess Andrew Cuomo, the governor of New York State, is not happy about it. He says he doesn't agree with it. He doesn't like the sound of it. I'm not sure what's going to happen here, but it could cause some issues, I'm sure. But I think we need to make sure we do stuff because, let's let's be honest, our state is the number one – um, I mean, the virus is here tenfold compared to every other state, and I think well, we yeah, really you need to do think some about stuff. It. We got New York City. Yes, um, New York City. I got to say, is probably the worst out of the whole state. And the problem is, though, is that they're sending people from downstate up here to upstate, and that's not going to help anything because all that's going to do is cause that's going to um, spread it more. Right, it's going to cause more uh, yeah. problems here. Yeah. Do we really need that? No. Um, but yeah, something needs to be done. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the answer is. I'm not an expert on this stuff, but honestly, though, nothing's working right now. The numbers are rising. There was the fifth death today in, uh, I think it was Monroe County. Um, yeah, I heard, I saw that, um, I saw it on the news. I think it was like Wham, uh, 13 news. Yeah. Talk like, Talk slut. They showed like the top 10 people that are like, got diagnosed. We're at number three. We're at like number seven, I believe. We're like the third one from the bottom. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I was like, yikes, because we got like over about like over fifteen hundred like patients that are um uh that that are uh confirmed cases, and even because since my family works at U of R, my uh there's like been a lot like okay, so. My stepdad is a working leader. He he actually has like he, he's been swamped with work now because of all the um all the beds they're trying to put in into the hospital. Like they're putting him in the gymnasium, anywhere where there's free space. Yeah. Um, that's another thing. I mean, the spaces and the hospital beds and the ventilators. That's a whole big issue in itself here in New York State too. Let alone the country and the world. Um, yeah, even Cuomo has been asking for like 140,000 beds to come here. or No, 20,000 beds. Respirators, respirators uh, ventilators. Um, all the gear for the, the, the hospital staff, too, like masks and gloves. All important, obviously. Um, we got a comment on here. New York City needs to stay put. I mean, I, I I agree. I mean, it's just why would you have people coming from downstate up to upstate? You're just spreading the virus, defeating the purpose. Um. Hey. Uh. So looks like I'm gonna be going on a little adventure. I'm going. I'm gonna be on my way home. Austin Dash going on an adventure. Uh oh. We 
we have a little glitch going on here. Yeah, is, guys, I, we we kind of saw this coming. Oh, like, um, oh, like, what the fuck happened? The time? Yes. Yeah, it was hey, the time. Sorry, it said my uh, a free session ended. Yeah, free accounts like us are only limited to uh, 40 minutes per session. Yes. Oh, that's stupid. So I think what happened was when we started the session 10, 15 minutes before the show, that time counted on top of, uh, you know, you know the way. But here we are back. <laughs> the end bomb okay. effect. A lot of things going on over here. <laughs> um, but it is getting to that time. time. Oh, it's by the way. towards that time. That's funny. My podcast. Oh, yeah. I can just say it. What's going on here? Austin Dash. What's up over there, buddy? What's going on? Oh, no. I was just telling them if they if they wanted to say hi. You guys want to say hi? Hold on one sec. Let me get, let me get the camera flip. Hey, guys. Hi, viewers. What's up? My buddy, Eric. I'm organizing video games alphabetically. Six feet away oh, there, geez. Austin Dash. That's like more than what I have. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So if you're just tuning in now, we just uh, we kind of lost the viewers here. Sorry about that. Um, Austin Dash. My buddy Corbin. Well, look how close he is. Oh my God, the virus. <laughs> Thought you were helping your friends out there, buddy. Oh yeah, we do. We always yeah. like that. Yeah, we are. Well, yeah, obviously. I mean, like if you see all the stuff that we had to haul in. <laughs> um, yeah. What's the shit? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm cursing this fucking house. So, um, anyway, here, but uh, yes, so that was my side there. Now, M Bomb. Yeah. Uh, how are you doing, buddy? Uh, how am I doing or how am I feeling? I didn't hear you. How are you feeling right now? An awesome quarantine Saturday night, stuck inside. I mean, it is what it is, man. Uh, I find it interesting to do it this way. I mean, I knew we were going to have a couple diff different uh, te technical difficulties. That's going to happen. Um, but, yeah, no, I think it's interesting to show a couple of our private spaces on the show, man. Like like I said earlier, your, your aquarium and all that. I think it gives a cool little Well, there. maybe the it next, is. Well, hey, the next time you guys will see me, you I will be at my house. So, yeah. no worries. All righty. Um, now we got to see if we can get Omen and Ghost on here. Um that would be great. Yeah. Cool yeah, that would be cool, man. I gotta grab the my quarantine show. We should get. What's that? The quarantine oh. show. Yeah, the quarantine, man. TME quarantine. Good hey, stuff. Hey, but at least we have this technology at our hands to be able to do this stuff, you know? Yeah. I mean, if you were going back even 10, 15, 20 years ago, you wouldn't have been able to do it. Nope. The show would have been yeah, uh, you know, it's on hold. Technology advances. Yeah. But there's always goods and bads to it, you know? As somebody who works in it full time, there's always there's goods and bads to technology. Oh, yeah, I agree, man. I agree. Um, yeah, there's so many things you can do with the technology. It's it's crazy. No, absolutely. Later, bro. See you later, buddy. Awesome. Thanks for Dash. the love. No problem. Awesome, Dash. Oh, I'm over just there. saying my goodbyes. He's saying his goodbyes. He's... All right, awesome. I hope you're not shaking hands but, and all right, that, man. I'm just saying his goodbyes. Well, I'm saying my goodbyes to my friends because I'm about to head out. Mm. Well, head out over. Well, head out back to my place. He's gonna bunker down at his home and uh, drink some wine and play some Conker's Bad Fur Day. Hell yeah! Well, my place in Castlevania. Or, uh, oh yeah, Castlevania, another good game. Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, all that good stuff. All those classics. You name it. Uber Mike typing away. He's uh, looking up on Pornhub what he wants to watch next. Oh, yeah. Totally. Ah, totally. Ah, <laughs> Quarantine. Or I should say stay at home up. hub. Did you see that on their website? I guess uh, home, <laughs> on Facebook. Home, on Facebook, I saw it on there that they actually officially put on their stay at home hub. And I'm like, really? Kevin joined us on here. Hello, Kevin. <laughs> What's up, man? Yeah. Oh yeah, dude, we're we're uh we're all over the place here. Yep. Speaking of which, I am outside. Oh my god, is that a U-Haul? Talk slut. Talk slut. 
Yeah, talk slut. We got a talk slut. Uber Mike looking up the next yeah, video. Kevin Uber says, Mike, what are you looking up? Kevin says, hello. I'm actually typing in. So there's this game I played where um, I actually uh, type. So there's this game called uh, Stormworks Build and Rescue, and you can, like, build helicopters, airplanes, ships, and all that stuff. Nice, nice. And uh, right now, um, I actually, I would show you here if you guys really wanted to see. Um, I have a project that I'm actually in the middle of. Here. Oh, yeah? Um, I'm actually building this really, really big passenger ship, as you may so call, call it. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and start it here, Maria. I can show you the work I've done on it so far. Ah. Oh. All right. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, it's, it's, it, this is a newer thing that I've um, been doing just as a, since we're all coronavirus trapped and stuff. Starting route 483, Road. Oh, all right, I'll show we you guys. Give me one drive. moment. Hey, hey, Austin, turn your GPS off so they don't know. What's he doing? <laughs> what was all that? Oh my god. This guy's, this guy's telling everybody where he lives. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, he's, he's gone. So, I'll show you guys what I have so far just to kind of show you. Yeah. Um, so, this is the outline of the ship that I have made so far. Oh, okay. It's the hull. Um, and I'll show you what I've done so far on the inside. So you can go internal. I put down the like the, the base of the ship, so I've divided up the compartments. Yeah. And these down below are different compartments that I'm gonna put engines and all types of things inside to fuel the ship. Um, as you okay. may see so I have got a bunch these. of cool shit you're putting in the bottom of it. And this is one of the decks, you know, I still need to, this is the, one of the main decks that I haven't put any uh, cutouts in yet. And then if we go up more, you'll see this is one of the decks that I have semi-completed. I just got to do some more finishings on it. Yeah. Um, this is like the whole of it here. Uh oh. Uh, well, this is... Well, we, oh boy. So we're having some technical difficulties, and uh, with that being said, I think uh, we're gonna end. We're gonna end uh, the show here. So thank you for watching. We will see you next time on Wednesday night. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great rest of your weekend.